Club loyalties. Club loyalties. It's time to throw them out the window. It's time for the World Cup, and this is exciting. Uh, just a couple of questions going into the World Cup. You know, will the stars step it up? Will they actually stand up and be counted? Um, will these teams gel together? Because, you know, during the season where they make their money, uh, they do not play together for the most part, unless you're from Italy or you're from Germany, because most of them tend to stay in their own leagues, um, which is why Germany and Italy uh, tend to play a little stronger in these tournaments. Hmm, but interesting, 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 interesting. Will these teams gel together? Um, look for the clubs that build from the back up. Strong defense, creative midfield, these are the things to look for. These are the teams that will uh, perform, perform very well. Um, if you're looking for a contender, any one of these clubs that I'm about to mention uh, uh, could win this tournament, um, even though there are question marks surrounding all of them. Uh, Portugal, Argentina, Spain, Italy, Germany, France, Brazil, they've all kind of struggled coming into this event. Um, so we don't know what kind of form they're on. Um, um, Germany and Italy tend to step it up during these events. I don't think Italy should be there, but that's another, that's another topic for debate. Uh, so uh, I, I really don't know which of these clubs is going to step up and be counted, um, but your winner is probably going to come from one of those. And of course, I failed to mention a couple, and those are England and Holland. England's got some question marks. Rio's just picked up an injury, so he is uh, hurt and potentially not going to be around much. Um, we don't know the extent of this injury, but nonetheless, there's there's that. John Terry, of course, we all know what uh, we all know about that saga with him and his extracurricular activities off the pitch. Um, that could be a distraction for the English. And then there's the form of Wayne Rooney. I mean, he was really hot, uh, really hot after Christmas. Uh, into February and March, and then he picked up an injury, and um, he really hasn't been around since then, and so we don't know the level of his fitness. Um, Rooney's got bags of talent. England's got bags of talent. Uh, they are a contender. Um, and then, of course, Holland. Lots of talent there. I'm wearing orange. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that this is the year for the Dutch. Um, lots of talent there. In the past, they've tended to have also a lot of ego, uh, and that has uh, worked against them in these events. Um, so the Dutch are also a contender. A couple of dangerous squads to be leery of. Uh, there's the USA. Uh, they are dangerous. Uh, they, there is some talent there. Um, they could surprise England even. Uh, uh, I used to think that England, when the, when the draw came out, I thought England was going to give them a footballing lesson. Uh, I'm not so convinced of that at the moment. England has not uh, been all that impressive the last couple of weeks. Um, the USA hasn't really been either. Um, but that said, they are dangerous. Uh, they are dangerous, so look for the Americans to perform well. Um, Mexico, they've also looked good uh, the last little bit. Um, lots of talent there as well, so, uh, uh, you know, um, look out for the Mexicans. Uh, and there's Paraguay, there's uh, Ivory Coast, uh, we can really pick any team from Africa. Uh, Ghana, uh, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous sides. Uh, could, 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 could be problematic for some people. Um, one thing well, there's Didier Drogba, who's also uh, picked up an injury today, uh, so uh, we don't know how well uh, Ivory Coast is going to do necessarily uh, without him. Um, and then, of course, there's South Korea, and South Korea has also performed well. Uh, they've looked good. They've looked uh, they've looked creative in the midfield. They're energetic. They've got speed. Um, they've got players that that can do things with that soccer ball. Uh, the only question mark for South Korea right now is the fitness of Park Ji Sung, uh, and uh, you know he didn't play yesterday. Um, hopefully he'd be all right for the tournament. Uh, he did pick up a, a thigh injury uh, in a friendly last week, so uh, let's let's hope that Park uh, Park uh, Park. Uh,
gets back uh, to fitness and uh, starts performing again for the South Koreans. We're just going to quickly go through the groups this week, and then maybe next week, uh, or in my, you know, the second vlog uh, of, uh, of the World Cup for me, um, we will project a little further and deeper into the tournament. Um, so groups A through, through H will, uh, in my opinion, look something like this. Um, you know, don't take my word for it, though. Um, don't blame me if you take my ideas and, 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 and place a lot of money uh, uh, on these clubs um, and then lose. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just a guy. I'm just a fan. Um, so, you know, uh, here, here we go. Group A, France. France will win, uh, in my opinion. Uh, uh, second place will come down to uh, Mexico and Uruguay. So... Uh, France for Group A. Group B, I think Argentina. I think it's theirs for the taking. Um, then there's Greece. Greece hasn't looked good. Nigeria, they're a question mark. South Korea is a question mark without Park. Um, it'll probably come down to South Korea and Greece for second place. My money, if I were a betting person, uh, I, w I would go with South Korea uh, to, squeeze, uh, to squeeze into second um, and move on to the elimination rounds. Group C, England, USA, that's one and two, or two and one. Uh, really, it might depend on that opening game for both clubs, uh, which are against each other next Saturday, uh, June the 12th, um, Algeria and Slovenia. Uh, I don't have much hope for uh, in, this, in this tournament. Um, so there you have it. England, USA... Uh, that match next week could uh, could prove to be the the group winner, uh, as I think both of those squads will go on uh, go through to the next round. Group D, uh, I think it's Germany, and again I think they will step it up, even though they don't have Michael Ballack, even though they've been struggling. Uh, I do think Germany will step it up uh, and win Group D. Uh, group uh, the second place second place will come down to Serbia probably. Um, Ghana without Michael Essien. Uh, question marks there. Australia, uh, you know, Dutch coach. They they could uh, they, they could do things. Uh, they were dangerous the last World Cup. Um, so Australia could cause some problems. Um, but ultimately, I do think it'll be Germany and Serbia that move through. Group E, I'm giving to the Dutch with my orange shirt. Um, and uh, for second place. You know, flip a coin, it's either going to be Japan, Denmark, or Cameroon. Uh, my money would probably be on Denmark. Cameroon would be dangerous. Japan has not looked good, but, you know, traditionally they are... Uh, they Traditionally they have been the best side, the best Asian side in the World Cup, uh, year in, year out. Um, so, uh, you know, flip a coin, we'll see who gets second place there. My money would be on Denmark. Um... But, you know, that's just me. Group F, Italy, Paraguay. I think those are the two clubs that are moving on. Um, New Zealand, Slovakia, I don't think, uh, I don't think, uh, have much of a shot at, m at moving on. If you're, if you're from Slovakia or New Zealand, forgive me. Uh, I just don't think the strength in the squad is there uh, to get through this, uh, to get through that, uh, that group. Group G, hmm, this one's the tough one. My initial thoughts are Brazil and Portugal are going through with the same amount of points and it's going to come down to goal differential. Uh, Ivory Coast without Drogba, probably not as dangerous as they are with him. So, uh, depending on how injured he really is, um look for Brazil and Portugal to move on out of Group G. Group H is Spain, um, and my nod goes to Chile. Uh, Honduras, Switzerland, Honduras and Switzerland can be dangerous, but uh, I don't really think they will be. So, enjoy the World Cup. We'll see you next week.